So you've heard that selling your house can be a stress. Well, if I'm being honest, it's not the easiest thing to go through, but with the right help, you can definitely make it as streamlined and headache free as possible. I'm Mark Lima, your favorite real estate broker with the Lima Real Estate Group. And in today's episode of Real Estate Q&A with Mark, we're gonna talk about ways to make the escrow process as headache free or streamlined as possible. So let's start at the beginning. Obviously you wanna be working with a really, really well-qualified seasoned real estate agent uh, or realtor because they're gonna be kind of your wingman through the process. Um, you also wanna have a very, very good um, and affordable escrow company because they are going to be your other wingman in the process. So ensuring that you have very, very competent uh, resources in both of those two seats is going to help you tremendously. And then when you're actually in the trenches, it comes down to, I would say, being proactive in terms of getting the paperwork um, read and executed. So that way, if there's any questions or if you need to seek counsel from maybe a CPA or another third party professional, you have time to do that without someone breathing down your neck saying, where's my paperwork. Um, also again, um, you know, the first thing I said was employing and uh, utilizing expert resources in the terms, in the, in the form of your realtor or your escrow company. Well, the th other thing you could do is not be hesitant in terms of asking them questions or leaning on them for direction or guidance. They are um, highly regarded for a reason. They do this day in, day out. They know what to do, what not to do, and they're there to lead you through there. So again, if we could summarize how to make it as streamlined and headache free as possible, it'd be being very proactive, hiring the right team, and then leaning on the, your team for any guidance you may need. All right, hope that helps. I'll catch up with you guys next week for another episode of Real Estate Q&A with Martin.